Welcome back Square Steaders. We are on part two of this chicken house build. And if you missed part one, you can check it out in the description. Uh, that's where we showed you how we built our floors. Now you can see behind me, we have a lot of the framework done. And I'm going to uh, show you how we went about doing that right now. Welcome back to our build series on turning a carport into a chicken house. In the last video, we showed you how to build the floors, what it took to get there, and how much money we spent during the process. Today, we're going to start building the walls. Uh, for those of you that are just now tuning in, uh, you can check out the, the first video right there and down in the description. Uh, anyway, moving on, we're going to start this whole process by laying it out. Uh, I'm going to snap some chalk lines on where I want my, my studs to, to be, and we're going to go from there. If you leave your chalk line out in the rain, prepare for a nasty mess. probably be talking a lot more in this video than I did last video a uh, big reason is because I wasted most of my good shots on the last video but uh, secondly uh, I feel like we really need to explain the layout and how we've got everything situated our grand plan and, and all that Okie dokie, I think I have just about got everything in its place. Nothing's attached, uh, but I think that's how I'm going to frame it up. This is the part where everybody's going to start yelling at me, but that's all right. So I've been debating on how I was going to go about uh, framing this this end here because it's got the curve. I'll go ahead and put a stud here, one up top, and put a wood stud uh, just like this, but in wood. to attach uh, everything to the metal all my studs and to the to the roof and to these these posts here are uh, these things they're self-tapping type screws I don't know if you can see that uh, I got a self tapper and they're pretty finely threaded anyway I got them from ace they were they were kind of expensive they're like twelve dollars a box which I mean your your mom and pop stores which this is run you know it's a small store but uh they tend to be a little more expensive unfortunately but i'd rather give my money to them than the big box stores anyway but those are pretty expensive but they seem to be working pretty good I've been in your world.
Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick and dirty little trick on how to do these, get these angles right and set your miter saw up real quick. Now, I'm not gonna teach you how to use one of these. You do need to know how to use one, but as far as this little project is concerned, all I do is I double stack these, these boards right here because you're gonna have a bottom board and a top board. And what I do is I just double stack them. I throw my two by four up here. I get my level, I make it level, and make a mark. Now once I make the mark, once I make the mark on the 2x4, I take it over to my miter saw and adjust the blade to the same angle, cut it, if it's perfect, take my pencil, make a little mark, and uh, you're set up for the rest of the project. Okay, now that I've uh, got it in place, I just put two nails in the bottom to uh, hold it there while I level everything up and attach it to this uh, metal post here. And then I'll come back with some four inch lag screws to actually attach it, go through the uh, subfloor and into the floor before. You know that uh, that vein that sticks out of your head when you're like trying to drink a uh, milkshake or something? I'm sure that's what a lot of framers are doing right now watching this and I kind of apologize but um, let me take you on a little tour of what it is that we have in mind and how we built this uh, to suit our needs. Okay so right here in this first doorway is a 10 by 6, 10 foot wide, 6 foot deep uh, chicken coop, room, whatever you want to call it. Each one of these will have a screen door such as that on it. Uh, so we've got two of those. Two of those 10 by 6 rooms on this side. Right in here, once we build the back wall, uh, we plan on building a double set of brooders. Uh, right here we have another chicken room, coop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then in this area we've got about a 5x6 where all these tools are at. 5x6. Uh, That's going to, I'm going to leave that open. There's not going to be a door or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to leave it open for all of our feed and our extra waterers and show chicken stuff supplies and all that and then we have a small room it's a uh, another another chicken room it'll have a door on it it's small uh, for a couple of reasons one is because we plan on housing sultans in there uh, so they don't require a lot of space they're a small bird and they have no problem with being confined <coughs> the other two we're housing uh, light Brahmas uh, Jersey Giants and Illusions in the other three, in the big pens, rooms, coops, whatever you want to call them, and then Sultans up front here. Each one of these will have a yard uh, coming off of them. They'll have a door going out into their area. So all this woods behind us uh, will all be a uh, chicken yard uh, once we get all this done. So that's what we've got going on right now. That's our plan. Uh, 
we'll get a little more in depth on all the specifics as far as how we're separating these, um, what kind of walls we're building for the interior, um, our waterers and, and our openings and to the outside world and our front door here and all that. We'll get into that much later, probably the next video. So here we are for the fun part, the cost breakdown. It's always a really good time. Uh, again, this is a how we, not a how to, so just keep that in mind. And if you appreciate our efforts so far, uh, subscribe. And if you really like this video, give us a thumbs up on the likes. And also, we, all, we have the little notification bell that you can hit to be notified whenever we have videos. So, that being said, how much has this cost so far? Now, keep in mind if you actually know what you're doing on this, uh, you won't have to make the two trips to the lumber store like we did. And you will also know more about the actual cuts and so you may not waste as many boards as we did and you could probably, may be able to buy bigger sections or you know smaller sections to make it work. So we didn't really know what we were doing. We totally underestimated how many two by fours this would actually take hence the two trips. So we ended up with 78 foot 2x4s, 10, uh, 10 foot 2x4s for a grand total of $285.45. The fasteners, we had two boxes of self-tapping screws and the pneumatic gun nails. The self-tapping screws were $24 and the nail for the nail gun was $18. That puts us at a grand total for the interior walls for $327.45. Okay, so that's the breakdown. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, keep in mind, we still have the exterior walls to go. Uh, we will also be finishing out the inside of it. Uh, we're still debating on how we're going to do that. And the great news is, hopefully he'll record it, uh, we've learned a lot of lessons with the chicken coop. We still have a goat farm to go. So you guys be sure to subscribe to get all of this going because it's going to be a ride. Thanks for watching.